first of all, thank you very much. And sure. I, I, I have a uh, few question about uh, Aruba. And uh, as the uh, vice president of sales mm -hmm. uh, Central Europe, and what are the biggest challenges in this role? The biggest challenge is probably the traveling, right? Yeah. Because uh, it is a it, a it is a vast geographic mass, right? Mm -hmm. So ranging from Switzerland until to Kazakhstan. So traveling a lot, I would say, is, is taking a lot of time. But it's a lot of pleasure. Yep. And it's a lot of uh, excitement as well. So happy to be here in Turkey today. And second question is about the market trends. Uh, how do you track the market trends and uh, how do you adapt your strategies? So I think one of the trends that is very obvious these days is around artificial intelligence. Yeah. Right? yeah. So and the way that we as HP Aruba Networking is dealing with it is I would say in two ways. So the one is that we say we are using artificial intelligence for networking. And with that, we have adapted our products and our strategy that we are using this type of technology, for example, to really enable mm -hmm. a seamless user experience mm -hmm. and to help, for example, the system administrators to proactively manage the network so that we are using large language models and a lot of data to come up with proactive suggestions. Secondly, we are like networking for AI because mm -hmm. obviously if you want to do, you know, processing large, large data, you need to equip, you need to enable, for example, your data center networking in a way where you have lower latency, bigger pipes, etc. So that is one of the, I would say, the mega trends we are seeing mm -hmm. and how it makes an, uh, a difference for us and how we integrate that into our products and solutions. And uh, the other question is about AI. You have a new product, HP Aruba uh, Networking Central. You call it the AI Powered. Uh, what are your strategies for AI and how to integrate uh, this technology in, into your products? So what we are announcing these days is, yep. uh, as you rightly said, HP One Networking Central, we call it next generation. Yep. So which indicates already it's not a new product. It is a, it is a new version, right? Mm -hmm. So we have beefing up with a, with a couple of new functionalities as well as a, as a new user interface, which makes it more easy for the administrators to work with it, I would mm -hmm. say, right? And as I said before, we are using very large data lakes. Approximately 4.6 million Aruba networking devices are being managed out mm -hmm. of Central. And they are servicing approximately 1.6 billion of devices. So we have a lot of data which we can use, for example, to find an anomaly or things which are not right in a network, mm -hmm. right? So large language models are really below, I would say, yep. the artificial intelligence that we are bringing then into Central. And uh, what are your predictions and the plans for sales leadership into the next five years? Predictions for yes, sales leadership? Yes. I would say it's, it is as important as it is, mm -hmm. right? So it is really important that we, we, we have a global strategy, but at the same time we have local market knowledge because mm -hmm. the Turkish market is a different one mm -hmm. than the, the Swiss market, as an example, yes. or the Polish market, right? So we as sales, I would say we are really the, the translators mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that we do understand the needs of the customers, which differ here and there, that we closely cooperate with our channel partners, our resellers and distributors. So I would say we are the ones which is customer first, customer last. And the last question is about the Wi-Fi 7. Uh, I think the uh, usage rate is uh, usage rate of Wi-Fi 7 is a little bit low. Uh, what are your uh, thoughts on this subject and what are your future plans of Wi-Fi 7? So as you rightly said, it's a, it's a relatively new product and solution, mm -hmm. right? We've come to the market mid of summer. Uh, I would say, well, you, you could argue that the adoption from a, um, from a client perspective is mm -hmm. relatively low. Keep in mind that the access points that Aruba have brought to the market not only offer Wi-Fi connectivity. Mm -hmm. We have on a connectivity for Bluetooth, for Zigbee. Mm -hmm. We have a very fancy thing integrated, which is called indoor navigation, right? Yep. So where basically you, you can use the access point at the same time to offer navigation in a retail store or in a hospital. And these are basically a platform where you can uh, integrate a lot of IoT things. So yes, it might be that, for example, from a um, laptop perspective, there are not that much devices out, but adoption rate will grow. 
But in addition, this is not just an access point. This is a full IoT connectivity device, mm -hmm. which makes a lot of difference for our customers in all industries, I would say. Okay. Thank you very much again. Thank you. It was a pleasure.